Hey guys, it is Tuesday here in West Virginia, so we're going to do a 2-4 Truckin' Tuesday. And they're going to be Mopars, kind of make up, uh, to make up for yesterday's video. Yesterday we did, like, the Mopar diorama, but we looked at 3D printed parts. We didn't really look at many cars. So, it, today we're going to look at a couple of nice Mopar Ram chargers. And they are older releases, too. Some of the first releases, um... Of the Ram Charger. So, the first one we have here, we're going to do these in order. They're both from the County Roads series. So, here is very early County Roads Series 2. So, this is a one that you're not going to see, like, every day. Um, and this is a very cool truck. The only beef I have with this, I wish they would have put a roof on these i don't know why they sold some with a roof and without a roof i know it's a cost cutter but they really still should have gave us a roof for these trucks um because they came from the factory with a roof and i thought maybe it was because they put roll bars in it maybe the roof wouldn't clear but that's not the case because we have some with roll bars that came with a roof. Now, the newer ones that I have that come with a roof, they do not have a roll cage in them. Um, but anyways, this guy here is your 1977 Dodge Ram Charger uh, done in a yellow and white two-tone with black steely rims. And a silver roll cage, as you can see. This set here, Series 2, contained a 1962 Chevy Corvette convertible. And that may have been the one that had, uh, like, different colored parts on it. That was like a barn find. Then this set had a 1966 Dodge D100, which we're going to be unboxing that in the coming weeks. Uh, the 77 Dodge Ram Charger, which we're looking at now, and a 1988 Pontiac Firebird. I think that was the blue formula. And then the 2006 Ford Mustang GT Convertible and a 2008 Ford Crown Victoria. And this was from 2009. Copyrights will probably release in 2010. Let's go ahead and take him out and look at him. And I've already cut it open from the back side. And these are really nicely done trucks. They are, in my opinion, true to scale. And the body lines, the proportions, everything seems to be really accurate. It's a very, very cool truck. And uh, let me try to get something to get that hood open. I always do this because I always take for granted that maybe... They will have hoods that open easily, but I should know better than that because they never do have hoods that open easily. Okay. So, I got a little piece of PVC plastic from one of my older brick rods. Usually, that's what I use to get these open sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't there we go there we go so as you can see it's got a dual snorkel orange air cleaner and the engine and stuff on this one looks to be pretty like size correct because green light is a problem with making way too of small engines for cars Oh, way underscale. They're like 172nd engines and 164th cars. So they're pretty bad. Uh, this one has a spare on it. Most of the Ram Charger releases have spare tires. There's a couple that don't, but for the most part, they all have the spare on them. And you can see your narrower back seat so it would fit between the wheel tubs. Pretty cool truck, and this one is still numbered at 2,291. Not sure how many of these were made. Um, as you can see on this one, unfortunately, I noticed this when I got it. It has a little bit of paint rash in the yellow, but I'm not going to complain too much because yellow, you can't really see it that well, and it's an older release, so I don't know. I, I don't really 
accept it too often, but on this one I will because I didn't pay a whole lot for it. And it's a hard one to get your hands on nowadays, so I'll live with it. And anyways, that's it for our 77. Now we have the 1978 Dodge Ram Charger from County Roads Series 3. And this one really threw me off because I thought this was going to be like a fire chief vehicle. And then I look closer and it says that this is Ridley Township Police. And it has 911 on the quarter panel, gray, silver, still rims, all red, um, which once again looks like a fire department vehicle. So that's what threw me off. And then on the back side, we have what was in Series 3, a 1967 Dodge D100, a 1967 Mustang GT convertible, a 1968 Chevrolet C10, and a 1978 Dodge Ram Charger, Ridley, Pennsylvania, police. Um, and then a 1982 Chevy Corvette, 2006 Ford Crown Victoria, uh, this is Washington, or I'm sorry, Nash, um, Texas Fire Chief. So anyways, let's get him out and take a better look at him. So here he is, and he's a pretty good looking truck, actually. Um... And once again, as I mentioned, this one does have a roll cage in it and it has a roof that came with it. And it looks really good. There's really not much of a difference between the 77 and 78, as you can see, looking at the grill and headlights and looking at tail lights, bumpers, all of that stuff, pretty much the same truck. Now, one thing that I did, and I recommend to peep to a lot of people if they want roofs for these you could try to find somebody that does 3d printed roofs and i'm sure there are people out there that may be doing that already that would be a good item um because well a lot of these didn't come with roofs but what i did is i bought a couple extra of these guys because they're still cheap and readily available this guy here. You can still pick them up on eBay for like six or seven bucks each. And if you did find somebody that 3D printed a roof, you're probably going to pay five or six bucks for the roof. So it's better just to go ahead and buy this whole truck. And then you have an extra Ram charger. You can do whatever you want with, sell it without a roof, make it into a junk car or display it without a roof. So that's what I did. I took the roof from this and I put it on him. So that looks really good, actually. So the another thing that I decided to do is I have another one that we unboxed a while back that was a green machine, and I will swap this guy here. I put M2 five spokes on it, and it looks really good. And I took a roof off of another one of these and put on him, and it's white. It doesn't look too bad because you've seen... Uh, vehicles painted up like with totally contrasting colors to a white roof. Um, but to me, I don't know why there was a Bronco, I think by Hot Wheels, and it reminds me of that Bronco. So what I wanted to do is kind of mix it up a little bit. So I took the red roof off of the Ridley Township and put a white roof on the Ridley Township because now red and white looks a little bit more like a cop car. Put the red roof on that one and it looks really, really good. Um, it's a little bit off, a couple shades darker. Um, some may even say the body of this is an orangish red and that's more of a vibrant red. But anyways, that's just my opinion. You guys can try that out to buy these guys here and get some extra roofs while you can. And then you can put a roofs on your vehicles that did not come with them. And I hope Greenlight's listening and I hope they never release another one of these without a roof. 
whether it's the Ram Charger or the Trail Duster. And for you guys that didn't know, there's a Trail Duster coming up. It should have already been released this month. Actually, last month, I think, is when it was due. But most likely, it'll probably be September or October. Greenlight's always a little behind on the release dates. But we have another Trail Duster coming in the Hobby Shop series. Comes with a little, like, backpacker guy. He has a backpack, and it's like a maroon-colored Trail Duster. So that will be a cool one to get. Um, so that's it for today, guys. I probably won't be back until Friday. We'll do our free at Friday, as usual. So enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you on Friday.